Okay. Oh my god. What's up, Internet, and welcome to episode 15 of the Poke... Not episode 15. 15? Is it 15? I have no idea. 16, I think. 16? Mm-hmm. Yo. 16. That's, like, old enough... To, is that old enough to drive in the in America? It is. It is. It is old enough to drive in the States. Welcome back to the legal driving age mm-hmm. of the Pokemon Yellow um, randomizer cage lock with... I'm Beetle Binky. Hello. <laughs> um, we're starting this episode off... <laughs> <laughs> with a cage match because we finished we beat giovanni in the last episode so we're starting off with a cage match and um, beetle are you ready ready as i'll ever be let's lose a pokemon okay <laughs> he's so optimistic okay i'm scared right i'm honestly scared oh god let's see what did you bring oh my god that actually turned out pretty all right for that me that turned out very well for you um I was not expecting this. I forgot you even had this. Oh, wow. Okay. See, okay, so I, my plan was to, like, throw this. Like, just throw in a Mon that literally couldn't, like, you know, that was, could maybe win, but, like, wasn't really going to. Mm-hmm. On the very off chance that, like, um, because I want it, because I have the team that I want for the final fight. So I was, like, thinking, oh, I'll just keep that team. Right. I did not mean to click that. Yo. Bro, you're going to beat me because of this accuracy. Dude, come on. Come through. Come through. Come oh through. Oh, my God. Oh. Yeah, that's... Ah. Uh, he got me. He got me from the RNG. I was actually expecting to lose that a lot. I really was. That's... Wow. Okay. I mean, you know, I went in there with fodder in mind, so I, I will happily take that. What do you... Beetle, what are you giving this Vaporeon? I think I want to give it... TMs, just in case by some miracle we find a great mm. TM here in, in Victory Road. Okay, well, we're going to cut right back to the gameplay. Well, not right back to the gameplay, I guess, to the gameplay. Mm-hmm. Um, and we'll see you guys there. Vamoose. We are back in the game. What's up, Beetle? How you doing? I'm doing pretty well. I'm ready to take on our rival. I think. Yo, I forgot about that fight. Oh, God. Oh. Okay. Um, Right, so obviously my Magneton is now dead. Uh, Beetle has his Vaporeon with his TMs, which mm-hmm. is scary. What the hell is Beetle? What is this I, I'm thing? not sure what I am, dude, honestly. Oh. Like, <laughs> oh, is that... Is it Alexam? Yeah, why did I oh. name it Beetle? I don't okay. know. It's... Oh, fair enough. Yo. Okay. <laughs> Sing I like how we just both have an Alakazam. Okay. Yeah. I mean, obviously, I, on- I only have one Alakazam. Only one. Yeah, yeah, right. Only one. Dude, I'm not- Only I- one. I don't know about you, but, like, this this uh, this uh fight traumatized me, like, in Fire and Leaf Green back in the day. Yo. Because it's such a huge level gap, in my opinion, at least. Yeah. I remember, I don't think it was, it was Lorelei, especially because when I played Yellow for the first time, I was like a stupid kid. Um, cause I got like, my parents bought me like a Game Boy Color and it was like a big deal because, you know, Game Boy Colors, they were like extinct or something. Um, mm-hmm. and so I got like a big blocky one and I got Yellow and I was playing it. I was a stupid kid. So I, for some reason though, I didn't train up the starter. Like, you know how, like when you're a kid, you only train up one Pokemon and yes. it's like always the starter. Yes. So for some reason I didn't train up the starter. I trained up a Pidgey. Like, and so I oh, I exclusively used a Pidgey the entire game, like up to a Pidgeot. And I, I, I like, I think I couldn't beat, I literally physically couldn't beat Giovanni because the, my only Pokemon was a Pidgeot. <laughs> what? I'm, that's so bizarre, dude. I've never heard a story like that. Like, honestly, <laughs> I've heard the, the starter thing because that's what I did when I was a kid. But like, yeah, a Pidgey? <laughs> I think I was. I think I just really liked Pidgey back in the day. I mean, it, it is. A, I do like Pidgey. Like, I, it's one of my favorite starter birds. But like, I don't know. It's crazy. That's insane. 
I just just re like I had all the starters on my team like because now you can get you can get all the stars in yellow mm -hmm. so I had them all on my team, right? But I just didn't use them. I just used Pidgey. That's that's bizarre, dude. I love it though. <laughs> I, what so what like what Pokemon did you like exclusively use when you were like when you were a kid? Um, it was definitely my first game was Emerald, and it yeah, was definitely yeah. like my Sceptile was extremely over leveled. And uh, I had a Crobat, nice. and that's like the only two I would use. But every time I played through like Gen One, it's Blastoise. It's just Blastoise. I I just spam Blastoise. <laughs> well, that's like Blastoise is like one of the two official speed run Pokemon for mm -hmm. Red and Blue. So, bro, you knew what you were on. I, you know, I you was know. I was ahead of the time, bro. I was <laughs> I was in diapers and running through Pokemon back then, dude. Speed running the game yeah. straight out of the womb. Straight out the womb, bro. Game Boy Color in hand and all. <laughs> oh, I, I, I wanted to be a friendly uh, cage lock teammate and wanted to remind you, we get yeah. an encounter, a couple encounters, so make sure you have Pokeballs. Wait, that's a really good idea. Uh, okay. Um, I do. I have seven. I have seven. Okay. I have seven of them. All right, Okay. Cool. Right. He's got an Alakazam. <laughs> he's got, wait, he's got an Alakazam? He does. That's, um... That's what? intimidating. Oh my god, it's level 53. <laughs> why, dude? Why? Bro. You know what? I'm going to do my, my, this, this my is... signature strategy right here. Just going to throw pocket sand. Go on. Go on. You've got this. Go, Beetle. He hurts. Go, go. Oh my he god. He bad. He hurts. He hurts. He hurts so much, fine. dude. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. You, mi you missed. You got absolutely sore. Why are you using Bite? Actually, no. Bite's probably a decent idea. No, I actually surfed it a lot more than I thought it would. I don't know why I did that much, but, you know, whatever. We take those. Okay, yeah, get in there. See? You have okay. nothing to worry you're right, about. You're right, you're not. You, you never lied before. I'm kind I've of... I've never lied. You know what? You'll be I'm fine. You'll be fine. Without potions? Okay, you won't be fine without potions. <laughs> Wait, well, I'll get to the I'll get to the top of I'll get like up to Victory Road and I'll wait for you. Okay, okay. Ooh, okay. wait, encounter. Wait, yeah, encounter, encounter, encounter. What'd you get? What is it? I got a caterpie. Nice, dude, stinky. <laughs> I yes! Okay, right. Alright, box um, you know what? Now box your Alakazam right now and use that for the rest of the game. <laughs> the like not smoke. even evolve it. Just yeah, keep the caterpie. Just keep it there. Okay. Yeah. I'm thinking about it. Wait. Okay, um, if, okay, if it lives once, do you reckon it'll live a single Psybeam from an Alakazam? What level is it? No, absolutely not, dude. <laughs> I do not think it will live anything from the Alakazam. <laughs> okay, Beetle, here's the deal. If it lives one Psybeam, I'll box my Alakazam and use this. Okay, that's, that's fair, honestly. I think that's fair. Okay. Thank God. Thank God. I got really scared for a second it was actually going to live. Wow, okay. dude, I can't believe you just threw away an encounter like that. Come on, bro. Especially at the end of the game? Like, yeah, bro, that like... could have been vital. And such a good Pokemon like Caterpie? Come on, bro. Oh, that's true. I, I actually really like Caterpie. I think I, I remember when I think I was maybe like um, 12 or something, I was putting together like random like lists of like mm. Pokemon lists, and I was like, what are my favorite early game Pokemon? Number one, Caterpie. And I, I <laughs> like, bro. It's a good Pokemon. It's I will. I'll give you. I kind of like it for an early bug. I'll give you that. I think my exactly. favorite early bug though is like Swadloon, Tbh though, or whatever that thing is called. Yo, Swaddle. Swaddle. Like that yeah, that's I fair. I mean, they all kind of look kind of trash. Like I, I can't do. really think of a good like aside from. Hmm. <sighs> Cause like okay, you know the okay Grubbin, yo Grubbin kicks ass. Ooh, Grubbin, that's fair. awesome. Yeah, dude, I love Grubbin. Forgot about. And that. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Your favorite Sawaddle? One of my favorites, probably Grubbin now. Tbh, now that you reminded me. But what what game is Sawaddle from, Vito? He's from Black and White. He's from Black and White. Like I said, dude, they have some good <laughs> Pokemon in Black and White. It's just like I don't know. It's just I don't like the games. I I don't know what it is. I if I I I'll stand by the fact that I think Black and White is the best Pokemon game ever made. I'll stand by that fact. Like, bro, the storyline, N? Bro, you cannot sit here and tell me that N is not good. N's got a decent story. I'll agree with that.
but I don't know. It's just something about it I just do not like, and I don't know why. I don't know why I don't like it. That's so weird. I wish it's I fine. Did. When we get when we when we do the black and white cage lock, you can figure we can figure it out. Yeah, I can, can change my opinion. Unearth this hit. Yo, bro, that executor's gonna beat me. I have two water types. Uh, dude, honestly, it might be a good idea to trade out uh, Avril for Stinkwinky. Which way? Which one's Avril? The Venusaur. Yo. Sting. I genuinely, I cannot remember what you have on your team. Okay. Uh oh. Wait. Stink. I wow. always named him Stinkwinky. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> That's such a go? random name. I love it. <laughs> I know, but... Dude, it's the same <laughs> level as Avril, too. I might do that, uh, honestly. I don't know if that says any... Like, I don't know if that says any good things about what level you're at. Uh, yeah, honestly... Uh, you know what? We're doing the challenge run. I might grind before, a little bit before here in the next episode. Just a little okay. bit. Okay. I think okay. we can do it. Yeah, absolutely. I like how Victory Road's, like, in a building in this game. Look at this. It's just... And then, and then you go in and it's a cave. Like, it doesn't really make it doesn't sense. It makes sense, dude. But I can appreciate it. Okay. Do you, do you remember the puzzle to get through Victory Road? God, no. <laughs> okay. Right. I was, I was thinking, how long is Drek and Victory Road's going to take? And then, um, well. I think you have to push this thing all the way to the right, though, right? Oh, wait. This is my encounter. Yo, bro. No, no. Wait. Is that your foot? Have we Road. never encountered a Caterpie in the series, aside from, like, the one I just encountered? I don't think so. Whoa. Go it's on, last... bro. Catch yourself a Caterpie. How is, like, are both of our last encounters, like, a Caterpie, dude? I don't understand. You know, if you live this Aurora Beam, you can stay. Wait, I just run away from my encounter. What'd you have? It was Eradicate. Oh, oh no big deal about that, right? Okay, well, I mean, this is Species. This, well, yeah, this is Dupes. So if... if I, can't, I feel like I already had a Rattata. I did! Okay, I still haven't got my encounter oh, yet. We st there's still time for another Caterpie. There's still time. Come on. Wait. It's another freaking Radicate. There's gonna be something. That's. Uh, I guess that's the thing about red and blue. It's like, there's. You're bound to get one of everything by the right. end of it. Right, yeah. Yo, Victory Bell? I just Victory don't Bell's... care about this thing. You don't like, like I'm Victory not gonna... Bell? Bro, we're getting a guaranteed legendary soon. I forgot about that. Yeah, exactly. See, like, so, like, I have, I only have seven Ultra Balls, so I might as well save them, I guess. Yeah, you got a point there. I, I mean, just, no way I am I... Know. I really... What's, okay, what, what's... Yo, actually, okay, here's an idea. What if we go through all of the Pokemon types and, like, say our favorite Pokemon of that type? Or at least the first one that, like, comes to mind as your favorite. Ooh, that's... Wait, I'm I like actually... those. I like the spontaneous ideas, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get, like, a actual... Um, list of the Pokemon types because God knows I can remember them. <laughs> Pokemon types. That's not even all of them. There we go. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Right. Your favorite normal type. Snorlax. That's weird. No. I said that and the thing popped up on the screen. That was so <clears throat> weird. That's such... That's that subconsciousness influencing the game. What about you? What's your favorite normal type? Eh... Uh, Probably Jigglypuff. Is Jigglypuff normal? Jigglypuff is normal, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, probably Jigglypuff then. I don't know. I just really... I, it's, like, really cute in that. And I like... I like cute Pokemon, generally. That's fair enough. All right. right, fire type. Fire type? Mm, I don't know. There's not many... Oh, Typhlosion, probably. Yo. Okay, that, that's, that's, like, kind of linked to mine, because mine's Cyndaquil. True. I like both so, of them. Bro, I like the entire line. Bro, oh, we are linked. We are we are soul linked. Soul linked and cage locked. Imagine a soul link cage lock. Oh god. It's well like, like if <laughs> we could sabotage each other. Yeah, exactly. That, that's scary. That's a scary idea. I don't like this. That would be hell. Um okay. F fighting. Heracross. Yo, oh yeah. So is Heracross your favorite Pokemon? I don't know. I feel like part of me has to say yes, but I don't think it is. That's fair. It's definitely one of my top three. I'd, I'd say either Electivire or Blastoise is my favorite, probably. But I do like Okay, it. Blastoise. I did not know that. I knew I knew you really liked Electivire. Mm-hmm. 
I didn't know you like Blastoise. I love Blastoise, yeah. Oh. I'm gonna have to beat you with a Blastoise now. Dude, that's humiliating. <laughs> I just really like turtles. I was a weird turtle kid. What do you think about Caracosta? You know, I liked him uh, when he came out. I just don't like his typing. Water Rock? Yeah, I don't like it. See, I think Blastoise should be Water Rock. You think so? Yeah. Why not? Like, make him, make him like, four times weak to, to grass type. I think that'd be a great idea. Mm. I've heard water steal before, and I kind of like that. But, I mean, it doesn't That's actually really good. Oh, speak of the devil. Eh. There he is. I could have got a Squirtle right here. Yo. I guess water steel makes some kind of sense. Like, because, like, the cannons. Yo, yeah. if I can catch this with seven Ultra Balls. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. I'm not liking this. Good luck. Thank you. I will I will try my best. Um, okay. My favorite fighting type is Pancham. That's my favorite Pokemon. Oh, that's right. So. Yeah, that's your favorite Pokemon. I saw your tweet today. Yeah. I, I tagged you in that tweet, so you, you can did. like... Yo. Okay, what's your top three? So is your top three Heracross... Like, what order would that be in? Heracross, oh, like, Divide. That's Divaya. hard, dude. That's hard. Um... Blastoise, Electivire, and Heracross, probably. Oh. Blastoise is your favorite? Whoa. Yeah, he's probably my favorite, to be honest. That's why I did not know that. Okay. All right, come on, you two. Um, right, what, so, well then, I guess, the next one's water type, so I guess that's, that kind of links. Mm-hmm. Blastoise, for sure. Yeah. Um, mine's probably Duart. Duart's a good one. That's Love weird. Duart. That's It's interesting, too, because it's a middle stage. You like the middle stage one. Yeah, like it. it's the only middle stage I think I like out of all of them. Aside from, like, maybe Quilava. Quilava's a good one. You don't like Grobile? Eh, actually, Grobile's pretty good. I was about to say, I don't, a lot of people things, I don't remember a lot of the middle stages. Hmm, yeah. But, um, what else? Is, okay, I'm not catching this Mewtwo. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. I think you go um... Okay, flying type. Whew, flying type, that's a tough one. Um, I really like... Star Raptor. I like Star Raptor a lot. Yo. What about that's you? That's a really... Um, Star Raptor's such a good shout. Mine might actually be Star Raptor, to be fair. It's, a, it's such a good, like, starting bird. Yeah, exactly. It gets okay, close either, combat, like what? either Star Raptor or like, um, what's it called, Pelipper? You like Pelipper, bro? Have you seen it? I I, I have. That's why. I, <laughs> that's why I was surprised. <laughs> it's hilarious. It's so funny. Okay, I'll give you that. I'll give that. I'll give you that for the meme. But like, I don't know. I, just I don't remember know. there was one draft league. Um, I did. Well, like, I, okay, so me and a couple friends were in it purely as, like, to troll these people. Mm -hmm. um, just, like, absolutely meme on them. Right. And, like, we were all acting, like, really stupid. And, like, we didn't know anything about Pokemon. Mm -hmm. um, and I got first pick in the draft. And I could pick literally any Pokemon, including legendaries, like, in the entire game, aside from, like, Ubers, to, mm -hmm. to pick as the first Pokemon for my draft. And I picked Pelipper. Wow. That's um, it's definitely an interesting choice, I will say. <laughs> I, I love it so much. Um, okay, what about grass types? Grass type, dude. There's so many good grass types. I like. That's a hard one. Grobile, Sceptile. I'm assuming. Yeah, I'll say Sceptile for sentimental reasons, probably. Yeah. See, it's probably for those same reasons that I would, like, say, like, Turtwig or Torterra. Turtwig's a good one. I was, you know, honestly, I was thinking about Torterra when you said that. So cool. Like, because that, that, was, that was my first Pokemon was Turtwig, I think. Mm. See, I don't exactly remember because I think I deleted my first save file, like, really, really quickly. Because I got, um, because my first game was Diamond. And I was, right. I was stupid. And, um, you know, like, I, you know, um, the, the tunnel you go into to get to Orberg? Um, yes. Yes. So I didn't realize that existed. So I, I, I was stuck, you know, like, and you know how there's rocks north of Jubilife? Like rocks yes. you have to smash. Mm -hmm. So I was stuck there 
And because I'm okay, so I, I was really stupid. So I, I like read um it's saying um you need to use a Pokemon to smash these rocks. So I was trying to figure out which button to press to actually send out a Pokemon in the overworld to smash the rock. Cause I, I had no idea what I was doing. Beetle, Beetle, that Beetle, that, that ladder leads to the end of the cave. You're almost there. I was, you know what, I was thinking that and I just wanted to explore my mind. Uh, was there? there we go. <laughs> I missed Moltres. Okay, you actually got out before me. Wait, did you not go, did you not go get Moltres? Nope. That would explain it. Okay. Should um, I go back? I just I mean, kind of wanted you, to heal first. At least make it. It's just whether or not you have, um, you think you can catch it. Because Legendaries is, like, insanely hard in this game to catch. Because mm. they can, like, dodge Pokeballs. That's true. Which is one of Game Freak's best mechanics. <laughs> Even better than Mega Evolution, in my opinion. Yo. Thank you for... Oh my god, I was looking at OBS, and my heart just dropped, because I was looking at to see if we were recording, and the live was at zero, and I thought it was the recording counting, and I was like, oh my god, I've not been recording this entire time. <laughs> I, would, I might have cried. <laughs> we hadn't had anything you like think... that happen this entire series, now here at the end. We... Okay, touch wood. Touch so much wood. I, I, um, my desk is... But like... Wait, yeah, wait, well, wait, yeah, yeah. So everyone is petitioning for Mega Evolution to come back, or like Z moves. I would, we should start petitioning to to bring back missing po missing Pokeballs. I absolutely one hundred percent agree. Yeah, one hundred percent. That's the mechanic Sword and Shield's missing that makes it a really good game. Right, right, yeah. But like, yeah, that's that's what's missing. That's. Whoa. Honest, honestly, I miss Mega Evolution so much. It was so good. Same. Same. They they added so much to like certain Pokemon. Like, mm -hmm. who would have ever thought about using a B drill? Right. Then they released Mega B drill. Yep. And no one, no, still, no one used it. But like, you could if you really wanted to. Its attack is huge. It's just it just can't like yeah. take a hit. Like it's you know you got a one shot or you're done for. Yeah, exactly. It's good though. Like yeah. <sighs> I miss Megas, like, so much. One, The one Mega I did not understand was Mega Audino. Like, why? Why did? Why is that a thing? I love Mega Audino. It's Do so really? trash. It's so trash <laughs> that, like, you can't, I kind of have to. Okay, I get that. Like, it's... It's so bad. Like, Audino, like, Audino on its own is better because it has, like, Regenerator. If they right. gave Mega Audino Re Regenerator, it would have been so good. Mm-hmm. But they, they didn't, and it doesn't make any sense. Right. Right. They actively made the Pokemon worse, worse. yet still gave it better stats. Yep. Don't understand, <laughs> Game Freak. That's so weird. I, I, I do still prefer Mega Evolution to Dynamax 100%. Yes, I agree. I agree 100% with that. I do not care much for Dynamax. I feel like it's kind of busted, too. Like, I don't know. Uh, yeah. I just... I dislike how it essentially becomes the be-all, end-all of, like, the gym battles. Mm -hmm. Like, I wish... Like, I... Uh, I I mean, the gym battles in Sword and Shield, I always felt were a bit... Like, they were... Because they, they were... The first gym battles in Pokemon, which felt, like, truly, like, epic. But mm -hmm. at the same time, they still felt so... Underwhelming. Right. Because of the actual battles themselves. Like, the first gym leader has, like... What? Two Pokemon, and... Both of them are from the same evolution line. It's um, a bit... Um, Who do they have? I don't know. Who was it again? I think Eldegoss and the little evolution of Eldegoss. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't remember now. Mr. Milo. Yes. And they're like level 20. And he's like... Bro, it, it, it always confuses me like how massive... It t how long it takes to get to the first gym leader in um, Sword and Shield. Yeah, dude. I don't... Mm, it's weird. It's I, remember like... I, remember, I remember people were like, um, yo, I'm four hours in and I still haven't gotten to the first gym leader. Yeah, was... dude. Like, what? And people were like thinking that's so cool. And then they didn't realize that it was then going to be every gym leader was one after another mm. after that. Yo. Bro, you can catch the Arcuno. now. I'm going to try. Maybe this yo. was not the idea. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, because Charizard... Wait, does Charizard resist ice in this game or not? Use Flamethrower. Use Flamethrower. Absolutely not. 
Hold on. Use flamethrower. Oh my god. <gasps> yeah, that thing is actually really dangerous. It is very dangerous. He's armed and dangerous, bro. Oh! I kind of want uh, it, though. I like Articuno. It's <laughs> one of my favorite birds. It's better than, like, Moltres. So much better than Moltres. Oh, 100%. Yeah, I agree with that. Oh my god. Alright, well, I mean, that's just how the cookie crumbles, I guess, at this point. You know. Oh my god. You know what? It doesn't matter. I didn't want you anyway. It's cool. Oh, you leveled up my Alakazam. It's fine. No big deal. Oh. All right, well. Oh, now I gotta... Don't you dare do this. Bro, that thing's gonna explode. I know he is. Don't you dare... Bro. No! Dude, Oh my dude, god, no. Dude, no, dude. no, 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 no. Oh. Uh... What the heck do I do? Vaporeon, Vaporeon. Oh Easy. God. <laughs> Bro, if you'd lost that Gengar right here and right now. Oh. He's you're been fine, with me for so fine. long, too. I would have cried. Yeah. Since, like, just before what? The second gym? Mm hmm. Yo. That's crazy. That feels like so long ago. <sighs> My heart is racing now. I don't want to. Dude, you're fine. You're fine. Oh my god. Thing is, you wait, do you have to go through can you not just can you just fly straight to the Pokemon League or not? I can I if know. I just like I I think so. Cause I made it there, I healed I'll, and everything. Check. Um You can't. You can't fly to the Pokemon League. No, you can, what? you can, you can. Okay. Oh, I was you about can. to freak the heck out, dude. Yeah. So you can just go down. I'm gonna try to get this item. X special, yeah, I don't think I need that. Bye. Yo, that's gonna be a master ball. Take my word. Ah, uh, that's disappointing. All right, well, whatever. Um, I'm gonna try to get out of here, then uh, then fly there. Let's see, strength. And yeah. um, I need to off screen. If that's okay, come back and get these items that I, I left. Is that okay? Before we record, it yeah. shouldn't take too long. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, cool. I'll just wait for you to get out of Work. Victory Road. Or, or if, if you want, we can like end it now, and then you can get those items, and then so you're still in Victory Road. Well, I gotta dump stuff off, I think anyway. Well, that's fair. Yeah. If I could. All right, then in that case, I'll, I'll wait for you to get out. Awesome. Okay. Get, get me. And then the next episode, we will take on the Pokemon League. I guess depending on... I'm assuming the Pokemon League... I mean, I guess it, it just depends how long it takes. If it's, like, really short, then we'll do the final fight in that episode. If not, we'll do the final fight. If it's, like, a bit longer, we'll do the final fight in its own separate video. Okay. I get that. Uh, I'm fine with either one. Whatever you want to do is okay with me. Absolutely. I mean, we'll just see how... I guess how the cookie crum crumbles. Mm, I'm, a, oh. I'm, I'm scared. I'm honestly scared, I'm so scared. for the next episode. Bro, you gotta get through that Pokemon League first. You know what's wild? What? Your Vaporeon is only one level higher than the fifth gym leader's highest level Pokemon. That is true. I didn't think about that. This game's level curve is so busted. It's so weird, dude. It's so weird. I don't. I don't get. I don't get early gen Pokemon, dude. Same. X X and Y is the best Pokemon game. <laughs> I mean. I don't hate X and Y, I don't think. <laughs> nah, I love X and Y, to be fair. I think X and Y is, like, top. I mean, X and Y is everything going against it, but I still think it's one of the fun is just to play. Yeah, I'll agree with that. It did give us uh, Mega Evolution, so, I mean, can't Exactly. Be... I feel like X and Y is, like, what re like rejuvenated, like, my excitement for Pokemon. That's fair. I remember being super hyped, like, when they got announced. Yeah. Yeah, because I kind of, like... In between black, I mean, like in between like black two and white two and X and Y, I kind of like fell off a bit. Mm -hmm. But then like I saw like the the hype videos for X and Y, and I was like, yo, yo, this looks sick. And mm -hmm. so like I was like straight back in there. So yeah. I, I, X and Y, I think I think X and Y is awesome. Stan X and Y. Stan X and Y. I'm, Stan I can X get behind that honestly. I can definitely say it's definitely uh underrated for sure. Yeah, underrated one hundred percent. Okay, so everyone goes on about Black 2 and White 2 being the best Pokemon games. Mm -hmm. 
I do not understand this 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 um form of thinking. What black two and white two being the best? Yeah. Dude, I never played them because I like I said I, I didn't like black and white so much. That's the only main series games I've never bought. As black and white Yo. two. I didn't You've, like black wait, and white. Wait, so two. what have you ever seen like a gameplay of black two white two? I've never watched one all the way through, no. Bro we're so doing like a blind like like a Pokemon black two white two like we need to do a Black 2 Y2 series where you're going through it for the first time. I Yo. think the farthest I've seen is like Flossessie Ranch or whatever it's called. That's like five minutes into the game. Yeah, it's not far at all. Bro, we're 100% doing something about that. Because I, I think Black 2 and Y2 are good. I think they're really good. Mm -hmm. but I, I don't think I don't think they put one at its best, but right. bro, we're doing something about that. Okay, but we're going to end the episode off here, guys. Beal, you have any last words for the, the audience? Nope, nothing at all. All right. Well, in that case, we'll see you guys in the next episode, which may be the finale. It'll be the finale of the actual game. Um, whether or not it's the finale of the cage lock, we'll have to see. But make sure you guys stay calm, keep hydrated, and all that jazz in the meantime. Peace out. And cheers.